Hey, what's going on guys? Valentin is here, back with you, trying to share another peace of mind. So I was thinking, because a lot of people questioning me the same thing every single time. What is the best scanner for my vehicle? Like what scanner should I use to scan my car properly? Well, the answer is simple. The only best scanner in the world is a factory scanner that was built specifically for your vehicle, specifically for the brand that you use as your daily driver. So for example, if you own BMW, you definitely need a scanner that is made for BMW, by BMW. That's a big difference, okay? A lot of people, they think that uh, if they get aftermarket scanner, things like Snap-on uh, or Autel, it will solve everything. Well, don't get me wrong. Those scanners are really good scanners. Snap-on is a good scanner. Autel is a good scanner. Autoland is a good scanner. And any other scanner that you might think of probably is good too. But the only difference is that that those scanners made by third parties. In other words, it's like a separate company or a person who is working on um, those scanners, the, the, the software for that scanner, hardware and so on. Those people, they did not work on the actual specific brand. The reason why I'm telling you that is because um, if you, for example, use factory scanner and for the same vehicle you use any aftermarket scanner, the results are going to be different. So the question is then what scanner should I trust? The only scanner you can trust is a factory scanner that was made by a company that manufactured that specific vehicle because they also manufacture the scanner made for that vehicle. Um, a lot of times people just questioning things like, oh, I bought a BMW, scan it with Snap-on and it's giving me a couple of codes and uh, I replaced a lot of sensors and nothing was actually solved. So I think maybe it's a problem with something else. Um, well, first of all, it's a problem with your scanner because scanner, especially things like Snap-on, they are not compatible with BMW. Even you can tell me that I have a specific BMW software made by Snap-on and so on, maybe. And maybe it even works. But trust me, it will never ever work as good as a real BMW scanner. Um, things are a little bit different when you use aftermarket scanners because uh, they give you information uh, that they interpret it and they think this information is right. However, it's not because the only information, again, legit information, could be um, taken from a factory scanner. So if you use, uh, um, if you need a scanner for BMW, then the best scanner for BMW would be ISTA, I-S-T-A or INPA, I-N-P-A. That's a little bit older generation for older BMWs, but still, those two scanners are the only two that can work properly with your BMW. They can give you the relevant code and also an explanation to that code. That is important. When you work with the scanner, the only reason you're trying to get codes is because you're trying to find out what is wrong with my car. And when you use scanners, like aftermarket scanners, they give you a specific code, they give you a description, but this description is not as accurate as it could be found on a factory scanner. That's why I recommend to everybody, especially if you are a shop and you work with mostly BMW, Mercedes, Volkswagen, and Audi, buy an individual scanner for every single brand. One scanner for BMW, one for Mercedes, one for Volkswagen, one for Audi. Uh, yes, you can have a multi-scanner. You can have scanner like Autel or Snap-on. No problem, it will work. It will work, it will give you codes. Uh, you will be able even to code maybe some modules, but uh, it's not a 100% proper solution because it's not gonna give you exactly proper code every single time you're trying to scan this car. So if you wanna have 
a good scanner, if you want to get, if you want to have a good reputation, a good shop, especially if you already own the shop and you're trying to bring more clients to your business, you definitely have to provide quality. Quality could be provided only with the right scanner. So every single brand again requires its own scanner that was made by factory to that specific brand. If it's a Mercedes, then the name of a scanner for Mercedes called Zentry. X E N T R Y. Then some people call it DAS, D A S, um, like C3, C4, C5. Uh, all those names basically identify same scanner for uh, Mercedes, just different generations. BMW, as I already said, INPA and ISTA. Uh, Volkswagen uh, requires ODIS, O-D-I-S. Um, Porsche requires PIVIS. And uh, all those scanners could be found online. You can buy those scanners online. They're not as expensive as, as you might think of, but uh, rather than you spending like $30,000 or $40,000 on a multi-scanner that's supposed to do everything, I would rather spend twice less to buy used scanner, but that is made for every single brand. So that way when you have a vehicle that needs to be scanned, you can give good relevant information to your customers. So that way you will eliminate all the problems that you might experience or all those problems that your customer may experience after you give them information that is not even related to their vehicle or if this information is faulty. So hopefully you guys understand that you have to use factory scanner for every single vehicle. If you don't have enough funds to buy one, you actually don't even have to, especially if you don't own the shop. You can just drive straight to good uh, independent shop that has good rating call them before you go there and most likely they already have the scanner just ask them if they use factory scanner for your specific brand and you all set you shouldn't have any problems that's the only way to get things done right thank you so much for watching subscribe to the channel support and any questions you have feel free to leave a comment down below the video thank you so much for watching bye